Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about using a regular guitar cabinet with a powered Kemper. So in our series of Kemper videos, we've been talking about kind of the different ways that you could use this thing. And I do things a little bit differently, a little unconventional to most Kemper users. So I wanted to make a video about it and show you. Most people who use a Kemper are gonna do mainly one of two things. They're gonna use the direct out, like to a mixing board or to the house, or they're gonna use a full range, full response speaker. And basically what that is is almost like a, it's usually a powered speaker. And usually it has a bass driver and a mid range and maybe a tweeter, like full range speaker, not just like a regular guitar cabinet. The reason most people choose to use a full range, full response cabinet is because they've been told by the internet that because you're using two, three, four, five, six, ten 10 different profiles, that might have different needs speaker wise that it's easier just to have the full range full response speaker that kind of can take any amp signal and make it sound good bottom line so the thing about guitar speakers is they can kind of add a certain flavor to the signal coming from the amp that's why you'll hear things about like British styled speakers versus American styled speakers whether you put a Celestion in it or an Eminence in it or whatever a lot of times you know, depending on the amplifier, it can change the sound of the amplifier. So a lot of people don't like to use something like that with a Kemper because they kind of want that wide range of options. In the real world though, most people play only a few profiles or if they gravitate sort of toward a certain style of music or toward a certain uh, sound that they like. I do things a little differently. I have a powered Kemper, I have a single 12, and I have another single 12. And I had these cabinets made specifically for the Kemper. There's a couple of features here that <clears throat> I just kind of made uh, specific to this. We put the handles on the sides so that you know it could stack properly because the feet are kind of small. And if you see the shot of the back of this thing, you'll notice that we can do uh, partially closed or all the way closed on one or both cabinets, giving us a little bit of tunability, if you will. And then we put a couple of different styles of speakers in each cabinet um, at the moment, right now, because of the experimenting that I'm doing to kind of get this right for myself. I only have uh, one speaker in this cabinet. There isn't one in here before. We had a, we had a warehouse ET65 in this cabinet, and I used it for a while but this just gives you too much power. So it didn't like that very much. We have an Eminence Tonker 150 in this cabinet right now, and I really, really like it. It's flat enough to do everything that I like to do well, but it's also not so sterile. My problem with full range, full response speakers is that they are very sterile sounding. They make everything sound very sterile. I can't stand it. So what you would do is you would actually, with the powered one, you would plug your speaker cable in just like you would in a normal amp. You can see it here on the back. And then plug it into uh, the back of the cabinet, just like normal, and it senses the load properly and does all that stuff. Then you come around to the front and you turn off the cabinet simulation internally because you have a real cabinet. And the internet's probably gonna scream and holler about how I should just use a full range, full response like everybody else. I just don't like it. And that's neither here nor there or right or wrong. I just don't like it. I like an actual guitar cabinet. The interesting thing is I only use two or three, maybe four profiles. So I've found a speaker that does everything that I want it to do in the Eminence Tonker 150. I really dig it. I'm actually gonna experiment with this other cabinet maybe find a little bit different flavor, maybe switch between them sometimes. Then I've got the tunability of the cabinet on the back where you can open and close it and change even more uh, aspects about it. Then I can internally go into the Kemper and say, what do I want my output equalization to do for the speaker that I've chosen? I can tune it to the sound that I want. Do I use 350 different profiles? No, I use probably three to four. Most guys who use these, half a dozen, maybe, they're not using 100 different profiles, 200, 300 different profiles. In real life, they're only using a few, so I have figured out the system that I like to get the sound that I want out of the thing, and it gives me a lot of flexibility. 
I just gotta have regular air moving in the room. We did a whole nother video, it's like one of our most popular videos about Kempers, talking about why people don't like Kempers a lot of times, and that's the difference for me. Having real air moving in the room with a speaker is exactly the thing that makes it sound amazing for my ears. Then I can send it out to the house or whatever, I can to the board, whatever I want uh, for that, but standing in front of this right here, like a normal amp, it makes it a normal amp with many more options. So that is just a little rationale behind what we do here. I know there's gonna be a lot of questions and you should do it some way different, but I'm just not going to. I just think it's really, really cool. I like this system, it gives me a lot of flexibility. The cabinets are only like 16 pounds a piece, easy to take around with me. And actually, I really only use one at a time. It's just kind of an experiment to have both. My name is Dylan, this has been Dylan Talks Tone. Just giving you a little idea of how and why we use guitar cabinets, regular guitar cabinets, with our Kemper. If you have any questions about the Kemper, if you have any questions about anything about guitar tone or amps or pedals or anything, stuff like that, please let us know. And subscribe to this video if you would, and follow us on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. And we will talk to you very soon.